Christian apologetics is the three-card Monty of argument. They're constantly loading a word up with very specific meaning, then flipping it over, shuffling it around with a bunch of synonyms or, you know, even just similar concepts, and then asking you to keep track of where the original definition wound up. Like they'll start the sentence talking about faith, noun, one, complete trust or confidence in someone or something, and they'll end it talking about faith, noun, two, strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on a spiritual apprehension rather than proof. They'd be like me trying to disprove their holy book by pointing out that it didn't have any fucking holes in it, but if you're not careful, they're bait and switch you like that in a second. They'll define proof one way when it's your side and another way when it's theirs. We don't know will turn into I know. God will mean 27 different things if you're not careful. Hell, even the word religion itself gets silly puttified by religious apologists such that arguments against their side suddenly become arguments for their side. They'll argue in favor of religion as a concept as though a justification for the general idea of religion somehow necessarily transfers to their religion. I was left pondering this by a bitchy email I got a couple of weeks ago that excoriated me for not giving people a chance to explore the possibilities. It was from some spiritual but not religious unholier-than-thou hippie whose mind is open enough for moths to get in, and he was giving me the sort of standard quest for the truth argument. If you don't start with the assumption that I'm right, which is your first mistake right there, then religions have value simply for helping people explore all the possibilities. Except... That's not what religions do. Religions sell one possibility, and it's either going to be demonstrably false or so esoteric it's meaningless. Religions don't encourage exploration. They forbid it. They outlaw it. They kill over it. But even when they don't do that, their goal is to crush the very exploration that this fucking dingling was extolling the virtues of. I mean, even the bullshit coexist sticker hippie shit this guy believes, this, you know, everybody's right and all roads lead to the same God shit, still promotes, nay, demands adherence to that one singular worldview. Sure, it allows an individual the ability to wander, but it doesn't allow them the ability to get any fucking where. Of course, one can certainly study religion in their quest for truth. I don't think they're going to find much of use there, but it's worth looking into. But the existence of active religion makes that very inquiry all the harder. I mean, it's pretty easy to study ancient religions with no modern day adherence because we are all allowed to talk about Zeus with the understanding that he's a mythological being. If we had to hold out the possibility that he might still be king of the gods, it certainly wouldn't make our conversations more productive. I mean, imagine any other academic subject being tackled this way, right? Like imagine if competing scientific theories worked themselves out via schism. Every time there was a new theory, colleges would have to pick a side or split off into two different colleges, each one dedicated to a different side of that argument. And no matter which side ended up being true, both sides had to stick around as long as they could convince anybody to believe their theory. Does anybody really think that would make it easier to reach the truth? Even from outside that structure? And if it wouldn't work for any other academic subject, why the fuck would it work better for religion? In fact, by promoting any single religion or even any single view on religion, you're doing more to shut down spiritual curiosity than the skeptic or even the cynic does. How thoroughly can you possibly explore a theory if nobody you're talking to disagrees with it after all? But most of all, none of that fucking matters. Because the other word this dude was playing three-card money with was the word truth. There's already a word for the quest for truth. That word is science. If your thing falls out of that, it's at best neutral in terms of finding truth. Most often, it's worse than that. By and large, religion is an attempt to avoid a truth. So far from denying people the ability to explore the possibilities, I'm saving them the trouble of wandering down dead ends. And I'm not not even blocking the fucking path. I'm just putting up a sign that says, hey, it turns out there's no truth down this path either. And if that thwarts your goals... Your goals never had anything to do with the truth.